little bit of everything. So let's get started. I got a couple. We got she got a couple of questions for you. Um, why are you coming to camp? I come to camp because the whole the whole camp has been coming a long time, and I just uh, I see the development of these kids that come to camp. I see not only they develop their skills in the arena and learn to practice better, they just develop a, a, a deeper faith in, in God and they, they learn to put him first and seek him first in all they do when they leave camp. You know, they're excited to go home and practice their new skills in the arena, but they also, I see them all leaving there with a, you know, a deeper devotion to Christ and that, you know, and, and, and namely seek him first in all that they do. And I just see how excited they are and how all these kids, they want to come back year after year and I see them for four years and I see their development and it's just, it's just a great, it's a great thing for them to go to. Well, let me ask you this, Rusty. Why, why do you think that some of these kids that want to come to the camp, why do you think they would want to come? What's the draw for them? Well, I think everybody, first of all, they want to come for the rodeo. They want to come for the event, the professional instructors, that are there and that's I think that's number one why they come the first year and then I think the ones that come back the second year come back because man it's fun it's fun you know the not only practicing their event but they have you have the games you have the uh the inspirational speakers you have the the worship is awesome I mean the music you guys have um I mean everything is fun and and not only are they they having fun learning about their rodeo event, they're having fun worshiping the Lord, and they're meeting they're meeting kids that will become lifelong friends because they all have a common interest, and uh, you know just the fellowship. Absolutely, that's good. Absolutely, it's good. Well, Rusty, I got another question for you. What do you think these campers can gain spiritually here at camp? Well, I just. I believe they, they, they're, they're going to learn, number one, they're going to learn more about the Lord and, and just the word and the, and the scriptures that they read and they, you know, learn about through their, uh, their, their group leaders. And they're going to just, they're just going to become closer to God and, and finding that personal relationship with him and knowing that, that God is with us and God is real. And God is someone you can we can reach out to in, in that personal relationship. And I think that's the whole uh, focus of the camp. Oh, absolutely. To me anyway. Absolutely. I think there's definitely a lot to be said for finding out that God is real to everybody mm -hmm. individually. Amen. Absolutely. Well, let me ask you this this one thing. Uh, as far as calf roping goes and the tie down, uh What's what's kind of your go-to tip? What's one thing that, that this kid that somebody shows up they're gonna do calf roping? Uh, what's one thing that they're gonna learn from you that's kind of particular for you? To me, a lot of it is is a uh, a lot of horsemanship and learning to what that horse needs from you to do his job, and that that relationship there, how it translates into good runs and to good uh performance and then other than that just repetition and practicing and, and the discipline and finally uh getting to a point where everything is a reaction and not something you have to think about yeah we wanted to we wanted these kids to hear from you and uh hear from these instructors so that they know that they're not they're one they're real um they can learn something but two there's one one important thing that they need to learn, and that's that's the uh, faith in Jesus Christ, and and that you guys have it too. I, I enjoy it. it. It recharges me, and I get excited to go, and then I'm even more excited when I leave because it's just a. And and, and another thing I think people want to hear is that how professionally run this camp is, from everything from the the security. Uh, just it's a it's a tight run ship. There's, I mean, your kids being a parent, I wouldn't worry about sending my kid to this camp because it's just professionally done. Everyone's had a background check, the security at the gate, the keeping the boys and girls separated from everything from 
making sure the kids take any medication they're supposed to take. And it, it's just, uh, it, it puts me at ease being a parent, knowing that how many volunteers you guys have, no one's left alone, and there's not a lot of free time. Every, everything's moving and happening, and you know, these kids aren't left alone for any free time. They're, you know, they're tired at the end of the day, and they're ready to go to sleep. Those wet saddle blankets, a little bit of repetition we were talking about. <laughs> that's right, about. that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. You got anything else for them? Man, that, that honestly, Rusty, that's about it. Um, okay. We just want to do something short and sweet, um, just something simple. But main thing is them getting to hear your voice and see your face.